Welcome to the initial setup of the movie box. Let's start with the remote first. The five buttons that you're going to be using majority of the time is the OK button, the arrows going around the OK button, and the back button which is the arrow going in a half circle. And with the remote, first thing you want to do is guide it down to the wheel. Once this, the wheel is highlighted, press the OK button on the remote. And this is what you'll see. So if you're going to be using Wi Fi, check mark Wi Fi. and find your internet when you click it the keyboard the input password thing shows how it will happen it will be highlighted on the right side when you click OK again on the, on the remote the keyboard shows up and with the keyboard guide your remote into the letters and numbers of your modem and on the bottom next to the English thing it will have you can change the keyboard to numbers so once you put the, the password in to get rid of the keyboard you can press the arrow button and press on connect now or if you're gonna do put the cable directly to your modem with the ethernet cable check mark ethernet and it will show you a status of connecting it will show both things for your Wi-Fi and ethernet once it says Ethernet connected or Wi-Fi connected. Same thing with your remote. Press the home button or the re the arrow return button and go to the main page. Now in this page you have two choices. If you wanted to watch the Spanish channels, all you do is guide it to the color TV and press OK but if you don't want to watch the Spanish channels press the blue K and it will start up the unit for the first time and as always you want to give the machine or the unit about probably 25, 20 to 25 seconds to boot up. And it will give you options. Now again, the TV part on this part is majority for the Spanish channels. And as you can see, all you do is highlight what you want to watch. If you want to watch the Spanish channels on the TV part, highlight TV and press OK. And then the channels will show up. And press OK again, and the screen will get bigger. Now, after you're done watching a channel, press OK on the remote again, and it will give you an on-screen command. All you do is guide it to the stop button, and stop, and then with the arrow, circle arrow button or the back button, press back and now everything from uh, 
left of Catal 5.3.3 and Mundo Latino and Deadpool are all for the Spanish stuff. If you wanted to watch something in English, your live channels, it will be probably in Stalin IPTV, C Cloud or Channel Pair. So if you wanted to watch uh, live cable channels in English, go, on, go to C Cloud. And we'll give you a list of what you want to watch. There's already a top 10 list, so basically, top 10 cable channels. All you do is press it, and it'll give you a list of the channels. So, if you have to watch like AE, AMC, Cartoon Network, Comedy Central, Discovery, or ESPN, just guide down to it. As long as it's highlighted, press the OK button and you can start watching all your live cable channels My here. Again, same thing, once you're done with the channel, press OK and guide it to the stop. And the arrow, half arrow return key will get you out of C-Cloud. And so basically, like I said, C Cloud, Channel Pair, and Stalin IPTV, you can watch majority all of your live cable channels. And now we go to Castaway, NFL, Pro Sports, and Sport Devil. Now, those are for all for your live sport channels. So, anything you want to watch like NFL, basketball, NHL, hockey, uh, will be in those three channels. Now for your movies, everything to the left of Sports Devil are for all your movies. If you want to watch something really fast, probably you can go to Movie Vault. And it will give you a list again of what you want to watch. You can choose by year, genre, search, most viewed, recent viewed, or popular movies. We can go with most viewed. And there's a little tab right there on the left side. So with your remote again, either click left or right and the tab opens up and you can press OK and to change it to thumbnail. That way you can see all the box pictures of the movies that you want to watch. First thing you wanted to watch Deadpool. All you do is guide it as long as it's highlighted blue, press it and start watching the movie. And same thing as before, once you're done with a movie or you have to leave, press OK on the remote and guide it to stop. And then the half arrow but or the back button, press it. Until you see the screen again. Now for all your TV shows and movies that are recent, a lot of people like Exodus, so click Exodus and it'll give you a choice what you want to watch. And movies will be the same thing. You click it and it'll give you a link, a list of what you want to watch. Uh, Janair, by year, people, what people are watching, latest movies, box office, same thing. But also, 
on your TV shows, you could go by same situation. And you also have a choice of if you want to watch something that airs on HBO or Showtime, this gives you a link uh, of what you want to watch. So basically, just go down the list until if you wanted to watch something on Fox, HBO, or History Channel, NBC, Nat Geo, Showtime. Just click it, and then it'll give you whatever show that's been aired on there. And you can also choose any season that show's been on. And you can do the same thing here. Click the right button so that way you can see the box pictures of the show that you want to watch. The so basically, everything to the left of one channel, all the way to Phoenix is for all your movies and TV shows. And Phoenix it has really good shows on it too. So the majority of the apps that I would use for now would be probably Phoenix, Exodus, and Movie Vault for your TV shows and movies. And then Hollow Live and BBTS will have channels and shows from all over the world. That's it for watching your TVs and movies.